This week, NASA and SpaceX got their Crew-1 mission off the ground, bringing four astronauts to the International Space Station. Since 2011, NASA has had to rely on Russia to get the agency's astronauts to the ISS. But now, NASA can reliably hitch a ride on SpaceX's Crew Dragon, bringing spaceflight back to U.S. soil and getting us even closer to space tourism. So when can people like you, unless you're an astronaut, and me, go to space? First, some context. For most of the history of space travel, government agencies like NASA have been in the driver's seat. But now, powerful billionaires who got their riches from other industries are expediting plans to get more of us into space. Sir Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, and Elon Musk's SpaceX are among the companies with goals that range from launching satellites to establishing a human settlement on Mars. These companies have plenty of private funding and a healthy amount of competition among them, which only accelerates innovation. But how do you go about reserving a spot on one of these companies' spaceships? Through the end of 2020, Virgin Galactic is accepting $1,000 registrations to get on the space wait list of its One Small Step program. But if you want to properly reserve a seat, you can shell out $250,000 for a ticket. Leonardo DiCaprio and Justin Bieber are among the rich people who have already handed over the cash to eventually experience weightlessness and see the Earth's rim from space. Now, as far as timing, Virgin Galactic expects to send founder Sir Richard Branson into space in the first quarter of 2021, which means commercial voyages would commence shortly thereafter. Now, for us non-celebrities who don't have that kind of cash lying around, experts generally agree that it's going to take at least a couple more decades before the price of a ticket drops below $50,000, which is still a pretty penny. So it's going to be a while before we find ourselves floating around in space without going broke. But it's possible that within our lifetimes, we'll see humans living on Mars. After all, NASA aims to send astronauts to Mars by 2033. And Jeff Bezos himself has said, quote, we will leave this planet. We're going to leave it. And it's going to make this planet better. I'm Nora Ali, and this has been your definitive-ish guide. We'll see you next time.